I think I learned a lot from the fellow panellists and it was really interesting to see the common issues and themes that we're, we're all experiencing no matter what discipline we're, we're working in. I think you could really feel the sort of the vibe of people sharing and the passion for the profession but also the incredible strengths they had to bring together as women to become uh, really good uh, professionals in their environment and actually becoming leaders uh, in their field. Despite of many poor things, there's still a lot of fire in so many people's bellies and there's still a hope and chance to make a change. And while, yes, it's true, we went through the journey and evolved from the journey of equality, now we are in the journey of equity, which is not the same. And it's good to see many, many professionals that are willing to do whatever it takes to make it happen. I think it's really important when you're looking to improve gender equity within the built environment sector to provide opportunities for women and individuals at every level to speak and contribute to policy design and the development of better inclusion frameworks. I really enjoyed seeing some of the younger members of our profession and our sector and as slightly more mature members of our profession and our sector we get consumed with our own issues and it's a good reminder that we can help the younger people coming through. I think that we need to have an EBI steering group that is advising senior leadership so that we're getting the message from the top down. Um, to make it um, culturally acceptable it within practice and the wider environment that uh, policies are written for uh, equality and not just written for them but actually read and actioned but very often we still, at this age, we still feel apologetic for ourselves, we still don't feel confident enough and I think it's giving me a bit of a boost.